properly packed with large size fish longitudinal slits are made in the flesh to allow the penetration of the salt after pickling for 7 to 10 days the salty water that oozes out from the fish is allowed to drain off this can be stored for 3 to 4 months smoking in this method landed fish is cleaned and dried it is then exposed to cold or hot smoke treatment in cold smoke fish at uh, first a temperature of about 38 degree centigrade is raised from a smokeless fire after this seeking cold smoke at a temperature of below 28 degree centigrade is allowed to circulate past the fish in case of hot, hot smoking first strong fire produce a temperature around 1 uh, 130 degree centigrade this is followed by smoking at a temperature of about 40 degree centigrade the smoke has to be wet and dense good controls are necessary over the density temperature humidity speed of circulation penetration of circulation and time of contact of the fish to that smoke is very important the phenol content of smoke act as an antiseptic and it also impart a characteristic color and flavor to that fish for making fire and smoke only hard wood like conifer and sawdust are used Killing is a method of preservation in which spoilage can be averted by killing the microorganisms through heat. Oily fish are mostly suitable for caning. Salmon, tuna, sardines, lobster, shrimps are caned. The raw material should be processed properly since it contains most dangerous Clostridium botulinum, which should be destroyed. There are some other heat-resistant bacteria like Clostridium sporangiens. which can be eliminated at a temperature of, uh, of about 5 to 6 times more than clostridium botulinum it needs a temperature of about 120 degree centigrade for 4 minutes or 115 degree centigrade for about 10 minutes to kill them in large number caning is done by putting clean breast and cut fish into uh, saline solution the can holding the fish and the saline are then double seamed under vacuum thereafter sterilization of the can take place at 121 degrees c for 90 minutes under steam pressure sterilization is followed by cooling of the can and the room temperature by running water then another technique used for fish preservation is drying drying involves dehydration that is removal of moisture content of the fish so that bacterial decomposition and enzymatic autolysis does not occur when moisture content reduces up to 10% the fish are not spoiled provided they are stored in dry conditions fish drying is achieved either naturally or artificially in natural drying the fish after being caught are washed and dried in sunshine in artificial drying the killed fish are cleaned gutted and their heads are removed they are then cut lengthwise to remove large parts of their spinal column followed by washing and drying them mechanically value added fisheries products value add addition is one of the most practical ways to increase the profitability in the fish processing and sale in domestic as well as international markets it also it is also becoming a market requirement as wholesale traders retail outlets and finally the consumers are on the lookout for the fish products that require minimum preparation some of the value added fish products are fish sausages fish pickles fish flakes waif and wafers fish noodles fish sausage fish sausage is the uh, is the ground fish meat with various ingredients like salt sugar starch spices fat chemicals and etc packed in synthetic casing properly sealed boiled cooled in other word fish sausage is a ready to eat proteinaceous food which is heat processed dehydrated fish products value added dehydrated fish products available in the market are fish protein concentrate fish soup powders 
fish chutney powders preparation of fish protein uh, concentrate for the preparation of fish protein concentrate is a uh, fish protein concentrate basically is a collective term used for dried fish powders which contain comparatively little fat three grades of fish protein concentrates are available fish protein con concentrate type c which includes fish meals used for animal consumption fish protein concentrate type b fish meal of standard quality prepared mainly for human consumption this has a strong taste and flavor for fish hence its use was restricted to the countries where dried fish is common in their diet fpc type a a high quality fish protein concentrate used for human cons consumption solvents used are used to remove their lipids and it has only about 0.05 to 0.75 percent lipids fish pickles pickling is the more, most uh, one of the most safe mean of preservation of fish pickle prepared from fish are gaining acceptance in recent days since they are added to pal uh, palatability to starch based blend tasting fish pickles are good appetizers too at present they are an expanding export and domestic market for fish pickles it is prepared by cutting the edible portion of the fish into small pieces followed by deep frying in vegetable oil and are subsequently mixed with vinegar and salt for preservation along with the uh, fried condom uh, condiments and spices for flavor development the material is then generally kept for a minimum of about 24 hours for maturation before packing this is a traditional product of the country mostly of asian countries and is now gaining popularity fish cakes tuna is most commonly used to prepare fish cakes fish cakes are clean steamed and boiled then separated in layers potato are boiled with salt pepper and citric acid layered fish are mixed with the above mixture and packed in vacuum to prepare fish cakes fish salads the fish are cleaned and pieced are boiled with steam the boiled fish or prawns are mixed with tomato salt garlic maida pepper and oil to prepare fish salad this can be used in fresh condition and can be stored fish flakes and wafers thin fin creams and catfish are used to for the preparation of flakes or wafers fish flesh is boiled and then mixed with maida salt and etc to prepare flakes and wafers thank you